So in this lecture, we're now going to cover the actual plan, the plan that I recommend for how to migrate an AngularJS application over to Angular. Now it has 10 steps. The first step is I call single responsibility. Now I would say that this step is more about adhering to the style guide. There is a style guide for AngularJS. It's rather a large style guide. Depending on your application and when it was built, it may be it's adhering to the style guide, maybe it's not. More than likely, from my experience, it's not. So you can take this step, you can adhere to as much or as little of the style guide as you want. But the one thing I recommend most of all, though, the essential thing we have to do in step one is called single responsibility, which is basically making sure that each file only has one entity inside it. So we're going to cover that in a lecture, so I won't go into any, any deeper. The second step of the plan is to add TypeScript and Webpack, so essentially build tooling. So we're now going to be writing our applications using TypeScript and we're going to be building and compiling everything together using Webpack. And in step three, we're going to basically migrate over to 1.5, at least 1.5 of AngularJS. If you're not on that already, we need to migrate upwards. If you are, then it's fine. You can carry on as is. Now, the reason we wanted to migrate to AngularJS at least 1.5 is because then in that version, we introduced this feature called components. And now with 1.5, we have components in AngularJS. So converting your code now into components, into AngularJS components, makes it much, much easier to convert into Angular components later on. Then we have what I think is the most fun step in the whole process, and that is to modernize your application. You're still working on your old AngularJS application. You're using TypeScript, you're using Webpack, you're using a modern version of AngularJS, you've, compon you've turned everything into components, and in this stage, you're just going through your application, you're using modern JavaScript techniques, modern TypeScript techniques, you're using types, using classes, using for all you, essentially modernizing your application. Now, what I would say is quite a lot of clients, once they finish this stage, they stop. They don't even bother with six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And that's because a modernized AngularJS application that's using TypeScript, that's using Webpack, is actually really pleasant. It actually feels very much like a, a modern view application because both of those things are actually pretty similar. So if this is where you want to end, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. You can stop at this point. But if you want to go further and actually go into an Angular application, the next thing we need to do is we need to dual boot it. So as I explained before, we need to be able to boot it with both Angular and AngularJS at the same time. So that's what step six is going to show you. And then once we're dual booted, we're then going to take all of our services, our AngularJS services, and move them to Angular services. We're going to then take, in step eight, we're going to take all of our AngularJS components and turn them into Angular components. And then in step nine, it's the largest step in the whole process. In one big bang, we're going to take our routing and convert the whole thing over to Angular. And we're actually going to drop dual booting as on well. that. Step nine is the largest step. We are going to do it in one go, but if you've prepared properly, if you've done steps one to eight properly, and you've done some investigations before you start step nine, step nine shouldn't be too large. Everything should be pretty straightforward once you're on step nine. You shouldn't be, it should just be a lot more, it should be quite boring, to be honest with you. Step nine should be pretty boring. Now, there are other people out there and there are other recommendations where you can try migrating one route at a time from AngularJS to Angular. I have never managed to make that work successfully. You might. So if you want to read, if you want to try that mechanism, please go right ahead. It's not the mechanism I teach because I've never managed to get that working properly. And the final step is kind of a cleanup step. So one of the things we're going to be doing is removing AngularJS. But we're also going to be doing a couple of other things as well, uh, cleaning up some template folders and, and making sure we're combining all the CSS files together into one as well. And then once you finish this point, this step, then you've now got a complete Angular application. That's what we're going to be teaching. And that's what we're going to be teaching next up in the case studies. We're going to take an application. I'm going to show you step by step how we take it from step one to step 10.